again, we're observing back here at our black acacia, the failed stump, we see the remainder of this tree split in a mighty windstorm. About 100 mile an hour winds came through here and split this trunk and dropped the tree right out into the street. Unknown to exterior observation, the core of this tree was very, very severely decayed. We can see how soft and pithy this material is. And it's soft all the way out to the very living edge here. We have about an inch of living material all around the edge of this tree's most recent cambium deposition. We have a defect here that curls in on both sides, which probably indicates some kind of an injury to the tree several years ago. We don't really know the, the source of that injury. We expect that it was root damage, though. The top of the crown was in normal form, and there were no exterior observable defects that alerted us to this rotten core. Of course, once the tree failed and we were able to see inside, we realized how soft and pithy the center of the stem is. This is actually a split here. The tree opened up when it failed. We actually see the so-called ram's horn curling in here, also on this side where the, the tissue curves in. We have a co-dominant lead with this second trunk of about equal size. And of course, it calls into question the stability of the remaining trunk. We really don't know the strength or integrity of this remaining stem. This tree is older than it looks. When we actually checked our cross section about eight or 10 feet above the break, the wood is still sound and firm here. And we can see that the tree was over 50 years old. So fairly slow growing at this elevation. The tree has not reached enormous size. And we can see about our last 10 years is living cambium here on the outside. This tissue was still alive all the way around. Again, the defect was completely hidden from view. Our only indications are these dips in the side of the main stem where that trunk curled in. So we feel that some kind of an injury occurred to this tree many years ago, perhaps 30 years ago, and this is our current observation.